This other one, which you're about to hear now, may sound familiar to you. That's the seal cough. Yeah, yeah, when I was a kid, and I lived in like the little, my mom made like a fort with a vaporizer. I lived in like a vaporizer tent. <laughs> I mean, I loved it, it was cool, it was like a little clubhouse, but I sounded like a barking seal. And, so that, and that's something, again, as a doctor, if I hear that sound in the emergency department waiting room, mm -hmm. I think, well, there's a kid with croup. And it's caused by a, uh, a few different viruses. This cough, the reason it sounds like this is if you look at the anatomy of the airway, this is also known as laryngeotracheitis, right below the voice box. Right. right. You know, that airway will get so small. And you can sometimes even see this on an x-ray. So when that child is coughing, they're, bar they're coughing, that air is coming through such a tight, narrow area right below your, your yeah, and your windpipe, it makes that, that barking That's what makes that seal bark. Like. Exactly. Right. Now, for a lot of kids, it's self-limiting. They do just fine. You know, other kids need to go on steroids, mm -hmm. um, all the measures you talked about. But those are two coughs with kids you really have to and be familiar with. And be vaporized. There's a lot of steam to open the airway up again. Yeah. And then last but not least, there's, there's one more cough I want to share with everyone. <coughs> <laughs> Again, can I change my seat? <laughs> it's like what happened, you know? And so what you heard there, that wheezing, mm -hmm. okay? And, and wheezing can occur in asthmatics. It can occur in people with COPD, chronic smokers. Mm -hmm. It can occur in someone who's had a prolonged cold that then turned into kind of a bronchitis. And so you'll hear that wheezing. Now, for someone who has a constant cough like that, you know, your doctor may evaluate you, and it turns out you do have asthma. Cough like that then is, is helped tremendously by or COPD, inhalers. COPD, as you said, that's, that you see that a lot in the, in the advertisements in the news today. Yeah, so yeah. That, is, that is one where there are treatments available. You know, stay ahead with things like asthma and COPD. You know, you want to stay ahead of it. Uh -huh. uh, but the reality is you have to figure out, if you have a cough that's been going on for a while, you have to figure out what the root cause is. And just popping cough suppressants all day long, the data on it's just not that great for being super effective. Now, soothing, absolutely. And you know me, I'm a big fan of home remedies, which of I course. know you are as well. Absolutely. So a really nice natural cough honey. suppressant is honey. Honey and Not meant water. for babies yep. under the age of one, uh, but honey and some hot tea or warm tea can really soothe. So I'm a big fan of whenever you're sick, if you have a cough and you're really worried about it, and it's been prolonged, and it doesn't seem like your run-of-the-mill cold. Get it over with. Go to the doctor. Get evaluated, because a lot of times there will be a treatment that may be very helpful, not only for your underlying cough, um, but then you get some answers.